Hi, this is Shane. Welcome to my video on how to add um, the JAXRS uh, configuration to create REST endpoints. Um, this video expands upon a previous video we did on how to set up a Spring Boot application uh, with JAXRS. So uh, if you haven't gone through that video, there's a link at the bottom of this post. Definitely check it out. It'll go ahead and get you set up for this video. Uh, this video expands upon uh, that previous video. So let's get started. Let's make sure that my application is uh, project is still set up and able to run Tomcat. So let's go ahead and start it up. There we go, up and running. If you remember in the previous video, we went ahead and set up uh, two ports. One was for management and one for, was for actually running the website. So let's make sure that everything is running okay. Let's go ahead and try to hit uh, some of the metrics or the health endpoint that comes with Actuator. 9001 up and running. Metrics is still working. There we go. Okay. So my project's still set up. It's still running. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Let's go ahead and add uh, my Jersey resource configuration class. I'm first going to create a package called config. I usually create a config package. This is where I put all of my spring configuration classes. Um, I put it underneath my main package. Uh, the main package contains the main class uh, that defines your Spring Boot application. Uh, it's the class that has this annotation Spring Boot application. Um, <clears throat> because this class, uh, main class is here in this package, all sub packages will be scanned by Spring. So uh, if I go ahead and put a config package and put a component inside of that, Spring will automatically pick it up uh, if it has a component tag. So let's go ahead and create a resource configuration class inside my config package. I'm going to call it Jersey configuration. It's going to extend resource configuration, which is part of my Jersey library resource config. Let's create a constructor. In that constructor, we're going to call one of the base methods called packages, and we're going to specify the package where you're going to put your endpoints, your resources. I'm going to put the resources in com family assist messages resources. Okay, let's add the component tag so when Spring scans this folder it'll actually find this class. And that should do it for my Jersey resource configuration. Let's go ahead and add my endpoint, my resource. So let's create the package. Messages, resources. Inside of that package, let's go ahead and create the messages resource. Okay, it's a spring component. And I'm going to specify a path with a JAXRS annotation path. That path, my URI is messages. Notice it's plural. And let's add a method for the uh, get uh, HTTP action. I'm going to add another class here called messages. 
new. I'm going to put that in a package called DTO, data transfer object. New Java class, messages. Since it's a DTO, I'm just going to make the property for now. I'm just going to make it um, public. Let's do a list of strings. back to my resource. Just tell it where to find the messages class. I'm going to press Alt Enter in IntelliJ to, to import the class. It's going to specify the messages in the DTO package. And I'm going to create an instance of it to return. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add a string to that list. Um, hello world. Okay, I'm going to return the messages DTO. Now, since I'm returning an object, I need to tell uh, JaxRS what to do with that object. So, you know, what am I trying to produce here? So, I'm going to use annotation produces, which is a JaxRS annotation. And I'm going to specify a media type. And that media type is going to be JSON. All right. So I have a message, messages resource, it's a spring component. I've mapped the path. I've specified that it produces JSON. And I've created a method called retrieve messages. Now I need to tell Spring, tell Jersey that I want this method to be called on the get. So I'm going to add the get annotation used in JAXRS. There we go. So any get action to this path will call this method. Let's Let's start it up. Okay, we're up and running. Let's open the browser, switch over to 48080. Remember how I set the main application up on 8080, 9001 is your management port. Let's type in messages and we should see the messages object returned. There you go. In JSON, here's my message object. It has the entries property and there's my first message. So there you go. We have um, a messaging resource, an endpoint set up. It has the component tag, a path tag, uh, produces tag it says uh, tells Jersey what we're producing, which in this case is JSON, and it has the get annotation um, to map this method to the HTTP get action. We also have a config uh, class, a Jersey configuration class that extends the resource config in the Jersey library, and our main service application, our main class. Uh, of course, is set up uh, with Spring Boot uh, with the Spring Boot application annotation, which causes Spring Boot to scan any child packages. Um, so that's all there is to it. It's uh, set up and ready to go, and you're able to now uh, create uh, multiple actions on your REST endpoint and add different REST um, services. So uh, in our next video. Uh, we will go over how to 
uh, add documentation to this endpoint. We're going to use the library Swagger. It's one of my favorite libraries. So come back and check it out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, post them below. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed it.